Welcome to Take 5. Here is your host, Dr. Driver. Welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Dr. Driver. You know, I've been watching the playoffs and the NBA Finals. <laughs> basketball, I love basketball. And uh, I've been watching it. My wife and I get, a, we get, we get entertained watching basketball. Sometimes you just go, wow, those athletes are amazing. They can do a lot of things in the air. I just go, I used to do all those things. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> but it's really entertaining. And, you know, everybody has a different game. And I looked at this one player, and he plays like certain people I used to watch when I was younger. You know, you ever watch Michael Jordan, and for those who ever watched him play, I used to watch him and uh, Larry Bird and all those famous players are legends of basketball. And there's some people who who actually do some moves that are, I would say, reminiscent of those players. So they're imitating those moves. They're doing a Kobe. They're doing a LeBron. They're doing all these people's moves. They're imitators. <laughs> Nobody's unique, apparently. I don't know. We'll see. But here's what I'm trying to get at. If you want to imitate anybody in life, I recommend you imitate one person, and that's Jesus Christ. Paul used to give his letters out and tell people, hey, I only imitate Jesus. I don't imitate my life after Peter or James or John. I imitate Jesus. If you want to be a godly person, if you want to be a person that's holy, read the Gospels. Look at what Jesus said. Look at what Jesus did and say, ah, I want to be like him. Hey, he created the heavens and earth, okay? So he created the heaven and earth and he created everything. And so to me, why do I need to practice or try to imitate a human being? He made them. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm only going to imitate something that's great and perfected, and that's Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm far from being perfect. And so the perfect one comes, hallelujah. But I'm going to imitate as much as I can to be like Jesus. Don't imitate me unless I'm imitating Christ. You hear what I just said? Don't imitate me unless you know I'm imitating Christ. That's what Paul kept saying to the church. If you want to be imitators of anybody, listen to me. Imitate people who really imitate Christ. And you can read the Bible. You can see how Jesus behaved. That's the key here, imitate Christ. Be imitators of Christ. Here's what Paul says to Ephesians chapter five. He said, be imitators of God, therefore as dearly loved children and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So imitators of God, okay? Imitate God. Well, who's God? Jesus Say it with me, Jesus. Jesus is God. Read the gospel. Jesus is the physical representation of the Godhead that we had the privilege through the scriptures to read about and learn how to walk, talk, and behave in this world. Imitate Christ. I, I, I get tired of people always trying to mimic or imitate other people. That's not genuine. You, you want to be authentic? You really want to be authentic? Imitate Jesus. There's great people out there that love God. Unless you can say, yep, reading the scriptures, they line up to being like Christ, then imitate them. Hey, that's close as you can get than Christ being here right now. Imitate someone that you know walks as Jesus walked, loved as Jesus loved, forgave as Jesus forgave. My friends, stop trying to copy a person's actions. Stop trying to copy what people do. The notice the word is imitate Christ, imitate God. It didn't say copy, you can't copy something. You could try to copy what somebody wears and says and does. That's not, that's not imitating, you're copying. Be yourself, but be in the spirit and the attitude of Christ by being an imitator of Christ by walking in love. You hear what I just said? You can't copy God. God can't be duplicated. He's the only God. So let me close by telling you this. Read Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5 says, be imitators of God, therefore dearly love children, okay? And live a life 
live a life of love. I know, simple word again, love. How can the world know that you are a child of God? By the love you show one another. Christ is love. Mary Magdalene, the woman at the well, the blind man, those with leprosies, I can go on and raise in Lazarus from the dead. That is the consummate expression of God's love. Can you imitate Christ today? Do we need to wear the band? What would Jesus do? <laughs> imitate Jesus and the world will see that God is here. God is alive. He's not dead. He's alive in you. So show everybody that you are imitators of God.